While some congratulate Israel for its innovative and tech-savvy strategy, people across the world are increasingly asking, if these tactics are celebrated and copied worldwide, are any of us safe? Hundreds of pagers, walkie-talkies and two-way radios used for communication by Hezbollah were remotely detonated last week, with Israel believed to be responsible, causing death, extreme injuries and sowing chaos among ordinary people in Lebanon and Syria. Pagers were widely used by Hezbollah members after the group's leader Hassan Nasrallah warned personnel not to use mobile phones in February due to fears of Israeli spying. The former director of the CIA, Leon Panetta, called the pager attack a form of terrorism in an interview last week. The ability to be able to place an explosive in technology that is very prevalent these days and turn it into a war of terror. This is a tactic that has repercussions and we really don't know what those repercussions are going to be. If they don't try to deal with it now, mark my word, it is the battlefield of the future. With many people asking how Israel managed to lace thousands of communication devices with explosives, questions have arisen as to the role of technology companies. But this isn't the first time. In 1972, Israel placed explosives inside a landline phone used by the PLO's representative to Paris, Mahmoud Hamshari, and inside a mobile phone used by Hamas military leader Yahya Yesh in 1996, killing both. And just last month, Former Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh's son claimed that the guided missile that had killed Haniyeh had tracked his cell phone. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has previously praised cyber operations, especially big data and AI, as the future of warfare. Between big data, connectivity and artificial intelligence, we have vast opportunities. But the most famous form of cyber warfare is Pegasus, a spyware created by Israeli company NSO Group that can be remotely installed on mobile phones without their users knowing. NSO Group was founded by former members of Unit 8200, Israel's military cyber warfare unit. It has been used to spy on foreign heads of state from France to South Africa and has also been sold to foreign governments to spy on opposition politicians, journalists and activists from Hungary to India to the Gulf states, including Middle East Eye's Turkey bureau chief Ragib Solyu. Reports from 2021 claim that the spyware was used in over 40 countries. Pegasus enabled governments to collect intelligence on chosen targets, whether by secretly recording them or accessing their devices' data, such as conversations or photos. As a result, authoritarian governments could more easily target and repress civil society figures. Despite Pegasus becoming a global scandal, Israel's Unit 8200 made headlines again just months ago for its use of AI targeting in Gaza via its lavender system. Soldiers enter information collected via mass surveillance of Gaza's population into a system that ranks people's likelihood of being a militant based on certain features, such as whether they're on certain WhatsApp groups or change addresses or phones frequently. It generated nearly 40,000 targets just in the first weeks of the war. They then combine this with a system called Where's Daddy, which notifies soldiers when a target enters his home. The building is then bombed, killing the target along with his entire family. 972 Mag later reported that Israel's army stores much of this data using Amazon, Microsoft or Google, aiding its military operations in Gaza. For these tech companies, securing contracts with Israel's military is considered the best marketing there is because Israel is a trendsetter for security agencies worldwide, with occupied Palestine as its laboratory, according to Colonel Avi Dadon. For several years, Palestinians, digital rights campaigners and even some Israeli soldiers have spoken out against these practices. And after the deadly pager attacks, many Lebanese civilians have also worried about their safety, concerned that their phones or other devices could be compromised. 